Here we want to find the derivative of the natural log of x to the third minus 3. So we have a function inside the natural log. So what that means is that we're going to have to use chain rule. So it's going to be 1 over f of x, because if you take the derivative of natural log of x, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. But since we have a function instead of just x, so the natural log of f of x is essentially what this is, we have to use the chain rule. So it's going to be 1 over f of x times the derivative of that f of x function. So in this problem, I'm going to have 1 over the function x to the third minus 3. I don't do anything with that. Just like when we're taking the derivative of something like e to the 3x, we would do e to the 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is just 3. We use that same concept with exponential and natural logs. We use that same concept. So it's 1 over the function times the derivative of the function. So the derivative of x to the third minus 3 is going to be just 3x squared. So it doesn't look like any sort of simplifications can be made. I have 3x squared over x to the third minus 3. And that's it. And if you're like, oh, wait, what about x to the second and x to the third? Why aren't those canceling? That does not happen. You cannot simplify those two terms. This is x to the third minus 3. Uh, so these, these are not common factors that can be simplified or factors that can be simplified or anything like that. Multiples that can be uh, simplified, nothing. These are, this is going to be 3x to the second over x to the third minus 3. You cannot simplify that. It's one of my biggest mistakes I see is something like this where people would just, oh, I could cross these out. This is x to the second, x to the third. It's going to be x on the bottom, so x minus 3. If you had 2 over 2 plus 5, would you do that? Would you cancel out 2s there? No, because it would be 2 over 7. That's a different form of 2 over 2 plus 5 is really 2 over 7. So you wouldn't just say, like, oh, the 2s are going to cancel out. It's not how that works. This is the same thing. x to the third minus 3 is a single number. Think of it as if x is equal to 1, what is the bottom? If x is equal to 2, what is the bottom? So that's not able to factor. If it was this, 3x squared over x squared times x minus 3, something like that, then yeah, boom, gone. Game over. But no, not like this. Just That's honestly one of the just most massive mistakes that I see in students. Um, at all levels of math is that concept right there. But that would be our answer for the derivative of the natural log of x to the third minus 3.